What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and in this light painting tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I create what I call the Fabergé egg orb. To create this kind of an orb, it's really just randomly moving your arm around like so, and creating these squiggly lines. The tools that I'm gonna be using for this tutorial are the crystal light pens. I'll be using the blue and the orange crystal light pen. To create this type of orb, it's very similar to a lot of other orbs in the main principles of it. And that is, you wanna remember that your shoulder is gonna be the center part of your orb. So you wanna to try to keep your shoulder kinda of in the same place. What I like to do is make a mark on the ground. I'll put a leaf there, or just make a mark. I'm here in the dirt, so I can just kinda of make a mark in the dirt. And I just try to keep my shoulder center or directly over top of that mark on the ground the entire time. What you're gonna be doing to create this orb is just kinda of making these random squiggly lines, but you wanna make sure your arm is staying the same way throughout the entire orb process from bottom, middle, and top. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna create this part and kinda of bring your arm in and then up or something like that. You wanna just make sure your arm is staying the same length all the way top, middle, and bottom. So even as you're turning, like so, and you're moving the light around, your shoulder is staying over that center part that you marked on the ground, and your arm is the same distance away the entire time, and then that way you'll create a nice symmetrical orb. The settings that I'm using for this are ISO 100, F8, shooting on bulb mode, Creating an orb like this, just using the two light pens is gonna take maybe a minute, two minutes, something like that. Um, but these can get super complicated and really long exposures if you add in a bunch of different tools, different textures. It really comes out cool when you're using plexiglass and then when you combine different tools together, you can create some really cool images and really cool orbs. That's when the Fabergé and the super detailed craziness comes into play. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through one now and show you exactly how I'm creating it. But basically all you're gonna do is take the light, turn it on, and just kinda squiggle it around. So I'm starting the exposure now. Again, the settings that I'm using are ISO 100, F8, shooting on bulb mode. I've got my spot here on the ground that I am staying over. And I am turning on the light pin now. I'm just we're gonna go up and down. And I'm keeping my arm the same distance away the whole time, making sure my arm stays straight and just making these random movements of light, trying to keep my shoulder over what I have marked here as my center point so that I can get a nice symmetrical orb. And like I said, I try to mix up the movements a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch now, turning off the light, switching to the orange light pen. And then I'm just gonna backtrack what I just did, basically. You do not have to do the full 360 all the way around because if you're pointing the light away from the camera, it's not gonna see it anyway. So really all you gotta do is about a 270 degree turn. call that. Now I'm going to take the orange and purple hoods and just add a little light to the scene. Now I have my little spot here where I was standing so I know that that's where I want to really focus on illuminating the ground so it gives the appearance that that Fabergé orb was emanating light from it. I always like to think like, how would this thing be in real life? It was really there, you know? 
Now I'm switching to the orange hood. It's going to add in a little more light here. Really focusing on the area where that orb was being created. Just kind of illuminating the plants a little bit. And that ought to do it for this exposure. Now let's see what we got. And there you go. You got like this Fabergé egg looking orb. Again, you can get crazy creative with these and just add in all different elements. I'll show you guys a couple examples here of other ones that I've created using different tools but the technique is all the same. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer anything that I can. Until the next video guys, get out there and get creative.